The Neue Schule Turtle Top Loose Ring. Hi, I'm going to talk to you about the turtle top and the benefits regarding um, the turtle top. And I'm also going to tell you how this came about. And that came about through research done by the Neue Schule Academy. Now, there is a separate video on the working angle which will go into great detail. However, to summarise, what do we mean by the working angle? Well, we've all done it. We've bridled up the horse, we've looked in the mouth and we've thought that looks really, really comfortable. However, as soon as we actually mount up and we take up a contact, the bit changes position and angle. And that is actually what we mean by the working angle, the bit actually under rein contact. So, what have we actually done in order to determine a really comfortable working angle? Well, what we did was we actually measured the degree of rotation that occurs when you take up a contact. And in order to compensate for that degree of rotation, we actually reconfigured the bore axis. So to put it bluntly, we actually sent the hole through the cannon, through the mouthpiece at a different angle. Now that actually causes the bit to sit like this over the tongue, creating a channel actually for the tongue. And this helps tremendously with directional control. Um, it helps with straightness and it helps to set the bend up. Even in a loose ring, um, we have more help because of this position. The other thing that I find, and not only do I find it, but thousands of other riders find, that because of this slight closing action, and that's not dissimilar to how you would wrap your legs actually around the horse, but because of this action, um, I find that we get much more lift up through the shoulder to actually free up the shoulder. And in turn, this actually helps us achieve much more throughness, much more self-carriage. So owing to the fact that it doesn't actually rotate forward under rain contact and it does actually stay much further back in the mouth, this really does have many benefits. For instance, if you have a horse with a short smile, now by that I mean short from the muzzle to the corner of the lip. Because a bit will naturally stay further back, this will often reduce any overactivity. The other good thing is if you do have a horse that's overactive in the mouth, and I know I've done it, I know riders do it, the temptation is to over tighten those cheek pieces to take the bit further back. Now, when we do that, not only do we increase the pressure over the pole and the side of the face, the TMJ, the corner of the lip, the commissures, we actually are predisposing the horse to rubs. And because we have much more force in the corner of the lip, we've masked those rain aids. So as riders, we're all working toward, you know, softer, more refined aids, and we want to give a subtle little half halt. Well, if there's too much pressure there in the first place, the horse really isn't going to feel it. The other benefit being, if you have a horse that's inclined to draw the tongue back and you know try to bunch it up behind the bit, well, there isn't really the room to do that. And we don't want that because that does cause tension and then we have a chain reaction um, of tension. And many times we'll have a horse that will just try to slide the tongue out and in the middle of a dressage test that's really the last thing that we want um, that's what a judge will pick up on and we will be marked down for that so if he has got that little habit and he does try to do that then there isn't quite the room to do that because he can't lift that cannon up into the upper quadrant it's kind of formed a straight line um, not unlike a straight bar so unlike other jointed bits we do have that locking device The turtle top shape is very clever. Um, there's a lot of thought gone into the profile. It's actually an oval shape. And if you look closely, the underside of the cannon is um, a concave um, design. So 
In reality, we have a very smooth delivery down onto the tongue and we have much more weight bearing surface. So we have the attributes of a fat bit without the bulk between the tongue and the palate. The other benefit would be, as we touched on previously, the horse can't lift that cannon past roughly 180 degrees. Now, don't be under the misconception that this is actually, you know, detracting from anything you would want to say through the rein, because in order to achieve that, in order for you to lift that cannon, you would have to have your hands over the horse's ears lifting vertically. So this is never an aid that you would actually give. The tongue is actually designed to stay on the floor of the mouth and to cushion and protect the bars. And this design actually does promote that. We generally find that the horse will, it's so comfy, the horse will relax the tongue and it will actually stay on the floor of the mouth. As bit designers and fitters, um, we do know that when we do find damage within the mouth, Generally speaking, um, we do find it over the bar area. The turtle top is unique to Neuerschule. It is one of our very popular patented designs. And it, through comfort, it does actually promote a softer, um, clearer rain aids and a sustainable contact. Now, through rider demand, we now have the turtle top available with a huge variety of cheeks, both dressage legal and bits for faster work. Here we have the turtle top loose ring, and we have it available in a 70ml ring or a 55ml ring. Now, the 55ml ring you would favour possibly for the smaller head or if you are wishing to use it as a bradou. But as far as influencing the action of the mouthpiece, it doesn't have any difference whatsoever. We have actually done a lot of research regarding that. Now, we do have a lot of stability and comfort from the turtle top mouthpiece itself. And we do even have, because it arches over the tongue, we do, even with a loose ring, have much more help with directional control. However, if we have a horse that's inclined to lean and block, you know, fix a little bit through the rein, then the loose ring is probably going to be your first port of call.